What's up, vapers? Thanks for checking out Spin Fuels Daily Vape TV. My name is Nick, and today we're going to be blasting off with some mod fuel. So I originally went up to their booth just to get a quick shout out for Spin Fuel, and they ended up hooking me up with a full line of their e-liquid, which was really awesome. I've seen them a few times at other different conventions since then, and they are just super happy to see me and really anticipating this review. I know it's been a long time coming, so here it is. Finally, I have the full review of their full line for you guys today. So stay tuned. Uh, right after this break, we'll get up to our first flavor. Alright, so first up is Javelin. This is a tart lemonade inhale bursting with a fruity exhale. That is the flavor description from the website. Uh, what I get basically out of this one is like a lemon Italian ice. It's very fruity, very sweet, and a little bit sour at the same time. Uh, I, I think it's really refreshing. It's a great summer vape. I've been vaping it since VCC, so uh, there you go. I believe this would probably take it uh, the top spot for me with this line. So let's have a quick vape. So the primary flavor profile that I get out of this one is definitely like a lemonade flavor. Uh, secondary might be some sort of melon perhaps. Uh, I'm not sure if it's like a strawberry kind of sweet sour flavor or more of like a melon kind of flavor. But there is definitely something different on the exhale. Uh, but like I said, that, that lemon flavor really overpowers the whole thing and I usually describe it as a lemon Italian ice. Uh, so let's go ahead and have another puff and we'll get to my ratings. Alright, so as for the flavor on this one, I am going to give it a 5. I absolutely love this flavor. The lemon is a little bit overbearing. If they tried to mix it in with another fruit, I'm not quite sure what that fruit is supposed to be because that lemon is just so overbearing and it, that citrus flavor just kind of takes over. But it is delicious. I absolutely love this flavor. The first time I tried it, I was really blown away. So uh, I'm going to give this one a 5 as far as flavor is concerned. Uh, as far as the vapor production, I'm going to give it a 4.5 as well. Really top notch. These are all Max VG, so I have a feeling that these are all going to be about the same as far as vapor production is concerned. And for the throat hit, it gives a little extra twinge on the exhale, uh, especially since it's like a tart, sweet, and sour lemon flavor. So it is three milligram right where I like it to be, but however, I'm going to knock a point off just for the fact that uh, that citrusiness to it just really gets to my palate. So uh, I'm going to give this one a three and a half. So that does it for Javelin, and let's get to our next flavor. All right, so we've got a new coil in the Ego One setup, and our next flavor is going to be Redstone. Uh, this one is definitely the second most popular at my shop, uh, second only to Javelin. Uh, the flavor on this one is a flavorful burst of vine-ripened watermelon. And I don't think that could be any more, you know, uh, spot on as far as I'm concerned. It's more of like a watermelon Jolly Rancher kind of flavor, more of the candy aspect of watermelon. But that's kind of to be expected whenever it comes to watermelon, uh, since watermelon itself doesn't have a ton of flavor. But this one is a very, very flavorful, uh, just all around good vape. So uh, let's go ahead. It's already loaded up here. Let's go ahead and have a vape. So as for the flavor on this one, I really get that strong Jolly Rancher kind of candy, maybe even like a, a watermelon bubblicious kind of flavor to it. Uh, more on the candy aspect uh, than, you know, the natural kind of tasting fruitiness, but that flavor that's in there is absolutely delicious. I really have been looking for one something like this for a long time, and I really haven't found one that I like that's not, you know, either colored or, you know, it's not... Uh, the Max VG. I love the Max VG because it, it works even in the sub ohm tanks like this here. Um, so uh, overall, I just I fell in love with this flavor. This is definitely my second fla second favorite flavor out of this line. 
Um, but yeah, I think if you're looking for that type of candy watermelon flavor, this one is going to be right up your alley. So let's have another vape and I'll get to my ratings. So as I've said, this flavor is spot on right where I want it. So for the flavor on this one, I'm actually going to give it a five as well. Uh, really top notch, well designed flavor, all around good. Inhale is excellent. Exhale is excellent. Uh, really fell in love with this one right from the first time that I vaped it. And like I said, I was looking for a candy watermelon for the longest time and everything was either too sweet or too sour. This one's just spot on for me. So, for all you watermelon lovers out there, this one is absolutely going to be for you. Uh, for the vapor production, I'm going to give it a four and a half, right spot on, right where it should be. Uh, and for the throat hit, I'm going to give it a four. Um, it's okay, it's a little bit light. I feel like this one is a little bit lighter than the rest. Uh, but it is okay for a three milligram. They also come in one and a half as well. So uh, I don't think I would ever have to vape one and a half considering how light the throat hit is in this one particularly. Uh, but then again, it might be masked by a little bit of that sweetness from the watermelon flavor itself. So that does it for Redstone. Let's move on to our next flavor. All right, we're ready to go for Skylark. The flavor description reads, a fresh apple infused with delicious berries. Um, this is probably one of the least sellers at my shop personally, uh, but then again, I'm sure everyone is different. This definitely could tickle someone's fancy out there. Uh, I actually particularly like this one. Uh, it's a little bit different, and you don't see that apple with mixed berries too often, so let's give this one a try, shall we? Now I'm not exactly sure why this flavor doesn't sell very well at my shop because I am particularly fond of this one. Uh, the only thing I could say that is negative about this is not any particular single flavor sticks out in my mind. Uh, you don't really get a ton of the apple flavor and a ton of the mixed berry flavor. It's just all kind of really intermingled. Uh, but they did it well. The flavor itself is well executed. Um, I really kind of wish they would have went with more of like a green apple or on the completely opposite side like a red apple, like a distinct apple flavor. Because the apple flavor that's in here is just kind of muddled in between a bunch of mixed berries. Uh, that being said, I'm still a fan of it. I do recommend this one. So uh, if you're in the mood for something apple mix berry, uh, definitely go out and pick this one up. So let's have another vape and I'll get to my ratings. All right, so for the flavor on this one, I'm going to give it a three and a half. I really wish they would have taken a little bit more time and developed the apple a little bit more so it stood out a little bit extra from the mixed berries. Uh, really not sure what it's supposed to be for the mixed berries. I'm assuming it's some sort of like strawberry, blueberry, raspberry kind of mix. Uh, not exactly sure because no, none of the flavors actually stick out. So that's why I'm, in, I'm giving this one a three and a half. For the vapor production, I'll give it a four. Uh, it seems to be a little bit less than the rest of them, especially for a Max VG. Uh, and it does seem a tad thinner than the rest of them, but maybe that's just my imagination. And for the throat hit, I'm going to give this one a four and a half. This is right where I like it to be. Uh, it gives you that like little twinge in the back of your throat, just what I'm looking for in a three milligram liquid. Um, for as far as the one and a half, I really don't think I would ever have to vape one and a half with this one because this is spot on, like right where I like it to be. So uh, I, I really like this one. I'm not sure why it doesn't sell like crazy at my shop. So uh, yeah, I, I, I think I would definitely recommend this one. All right, that does it for Skylark. Let's move on to our next flavor. All right, so we've covered all the fruity flavors that Mod Fuel has to offer. And the next one we have is Apollo. The flavor description is a creamy vanilla custard smothered in caramel. Um, now, I gotta say, I've tried this one a few times before this review, and I don't really get quite the custard flavor that I'm used to. It's not like eggy at all. It's more like a smooth, creamy, like vanilla ice cream almost. Um, and that's kind of how I describe it to other people. But the really, the thing that shines on this one right here is the caramel flavor. Uh, so let's go ahead and have a quick vape. Yeah, so just like I said, this one is not quite the traditional custard that I'm used to. Uh, I really feel like a lot of the custard flavors that are coming out lately ha have kind of lost their way. I feel like they're moving away from what a custard actually is and moving on to more of like a vanilla cream kind of flavor or a vanilla bean flavor. This one really reminds me of vanilla bean ice cream covered in caramel sauce, 
which is, you know, pretty good in itself, but I really I don't agree with so much with the actual flavor description that's on their website. Um, that being said, it is a delicious flavor. Uh, like I said before, the caramel really stands out from the vanilla. Uh, the vanilla is mostly on the first little bit of the inhale, and the whole exhale is all caramel. So uh, let's have another puff here, and I'll get to my ratings. So for the flavor on this one, I'm going to give it a 3, and the only reason I'm giving it a 3 is because I really wish they would have stayed true to the actual flavor description and went with more of a custard flavor than a vanilla ice cream flavor, although the vanilla ice cream is delicious. So uh, I really wanted to see that vanilla custard coming out, but I mostly got just a creamy vanilla kind of ice cream flavor with caramel sauce, which is definitely all I get for flavor out of this one. Uh, so I w really think that I would have given it a higher score if it was a real traditional vanilla custard with caramel as well. Uh, but the caramel in this flavor is delicious. So if you're in the mood for a caramel vape uh, with a little bit of vanilla in there as well, give this one a shot. Uh, for the vapor production on this one, I'll give it a 4.5. Just top-notch vapor production as can be attributed to the Max VG. Uh, as well as the throat hit, I'll give it a four. Uh, it's a little bit light on the throat hit. Um, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's my imagination. I don't know. Again, I probably would never have to go with one and a half simply for the fact that the throat hit's already pretty light on this one here. And that in combination with Max VG Juice, you're getting almost no throat hit. So uh, let's go on to our last and final flavor. All right, guys, we are on our final flavor today, and that is going to be Thorad. The flavor description is a smooth, creamy blend of sweet cinnamon sugar. Now, I tried this a few times before I did this review, and I absolutely enjoyed it. And as you guys know, if you watch any of my older juice reviews, I've never been a huge bakery flavor fan, but this one is uh, definitely on the, uh, on the top of my list as far as bakery flavors go. Um, yeah, so let's give it a puff, and uh, we'll see what I get out of it. And I really could not agree more with the actual flavor description on this one. Uh, really top-notch, uh, sweet cinnamon flavor. It's not overly cinnamony. It's a little bit spicy, which I kind of like. Uh, you don't get a lot of natural cinnamon tastes when you uh, try cinnamon flavors normally. Uh, and this one, I think, is definitely on the top of my list as far as a more natural-tasting cinnamon. But it also kind of gets dulled down by the fact that it has a lot of that sweetness to it as well. Um... One of my favorite pastimes was cinnamon sugar on toast with butter, and that's exactly what I get, I get out of this. Not quite the cinnamon toast crunch, not quite the French toast. It's just literally like you're eating that like cinnamon and sugar all at once, and it's such a great combination of the two. Uh, definitely um, one of my favorite bakery flavors so far, if, if you want to categorize it as that. Uh, let's take one more puff, and I'll get to my ratings. So for the flavor on this one, I'm going to give it a four and a half. It's definitely right up there with the Javelin as far as my favorite flavors from this line. And that's kind of odd considering it's more of a bakery flavor. I get that nice sweet cinnamon and just like a nice warm kind of aftertaste. Uh, so definitely well done. I really uh, am enjoying this one. So I highly recommend it if you're looking for a cinnamon with a little bit of a twist out there. So, uh, for the uh, vapor production, I'll give this a 4. Uh, not quite up there with the rest of them, but it's still very good. For a Max VG, you really can't go wrong with vapor production. So, uh, and finally, the uh, throat hit. I'm going to knock a point off, and I'm going to give this one a 3.5, uh, because that cinnamon bite really cuts into the throat hit and kind of jacks it up a little bit for me. I could definitely see myself vaping the one and a half milligram in this stuff just simply for that little extra bite of the cinnamon throat hit. All right guys, that about does it for this video. If you wanna check out these flavors for yourself, the link will be in the description for you if you wanna check out their website. Don't forget to hit that like button if you like this video and subscribe for more of my content. Don't forget to check out spinfuel.com for lots more of my videos as well as Smoke and Joey and Spinfuel videos. And as always, vape on.